Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a six pocket tote bag. So let's take a look at the tote bag. Here it is, okay? Now, uh, what I mean by six pockets is that there's three pockets in the front and three on the back. I've used different fabric for the body of the bag than the pockets, okay? Also, on this particular one, the lining is the same color as the pockets, and then the straps are the same color as the body of the bag, okay? So, you can make this bag with, with or without the pockets, or you can make it with just three pockets, just on one side, okay? All right, let me set this aside. All right, now, let me go over what I used on this bag, okay? Now, for you're going to need two different fabrics for the outside, or you can make it all the same color. You don't need to make it different fabrics. So, fabric A, which is for the body of the bag, you're going to need about a yard, and then for fabric B, about a half a yard. So, I also used iron-on interfacing, get about a yard of that, and then the lining was about a half a yard. Okay? All right. So, let me show you how to start putting this together. Let me show you how to start drawing your own pattern. Okay. Now, if you don't have a large piece of paper, you can just put several pieces of paper together and tape them, and I'm going to show you how to draw this pattern. All right. You're going to draw a rectangle that is 16 inches wide this way and 13 inches high this way. Okay, so draw that rectangle. Then take a ruler and down here at the two bottom corners, you're going to place the two and a half inch marker on the outer edge of the corner. So like this. Okay, so that then you're going to draw a line here and there. Then go over to the other corner and do the same thing. Draw a line here and there. Then you're just going to cut this corner out because that's not part of the cutting line for your tote bag. Then I want you to do two more markings on the bag and from four and a half inches from this edge in this way and two and a half inches down from the upper edge, you're going to put a mark to indicate where your straps start and end. So put a little mark there and then go to the other side and do the same thing. Four and a half inches from the outer edge, two and a half inches from the upper edge, put a mark. That indicates where the straps are beginning to be stitched down. These little dash lines indicate that the straps are going down towards that lower edge. Alright, so mark on it that this is the uh, tote bag at body of the bag and you're going to need to cut two pieces of fabric for that and then your lining you need to cut two and then for the interfacing you need to cut two. So mark that on your pattern, okay? All right, one more piece to make. Similar, very, very similar. Now you're gonna draw a rectangle again that is 16, half, 16 inches wide by nine and a half inches going this way. Right up here on this top line, write fold line. So you're gonna place this on the fold line of your fabric, okay? And then also do your corners again. Put the uh, ruler down there on the two and a half inch markers and draw a line here and there and go to the opposite corner over here and do the same thing, okay? Now, um, the pocket this pattern is used for the pocket, but it's also used for the lining. I mean, excuse me, the interfacing. 
So when you use this for the interfacing, do not put it on the fold. Do not put it on the fold and cut two, all right? So you're gonna cut two of the pocket sections and two of the interfacing. All right, let me set this aside. Let me show you how to start doing it all. Now, here's the pocket piece. Now, remember this was placed on the fold line when you cut it out. So it's one continuous piece like this. Then take your interfacing, place it on the inside, and press this on. Now follow the instructions on your package on how to put it on. It's a really easy process. Then when you've done fuse, or, uh, pressing it on, then fold this back over and press the top. Okay, you're going to do that for both pocket sections. Then take your fabric for the body and put your interfacing on that. Again, follow the instructions on your package. Do that for both the front and back of that. Okay, now let me show you how to begin to put the pieces together. Now, take your pocket section and place it on top of the body of your uh, bag, okay? And go ahead and line this all up. Then you want to do machine basting. I did a large machine basting all around these edges here, holding the pocket. And you want to stitch very close to the edge. This helps to hold everything together while you're trying to put this bag together. So do that on both the front and back sections. Then when you're done with that, bring both front and back together. Okay? And you're going to stitch along the bottom here, just the bottom, 3 8 of an inch seam. Okay? All right, now let me go on to the next piece. Now, you're going to press this seam open here. And it should be really easy because if you've done that machine basting, it also helps you open this seam up so you can press it without having to fumble through all those layers. So get that pressed. Then, back on the front, you're going to top stitch on each side of that seam. This makes that seam very sturdy. Okay, so it'll be really sturdy and it's not going to fall apart. So a slightly less than an eighth of an inch, do it on each side of the seam going all the way across. Then, on the two upper edges of the bag, you're going to place pins. Remember those little marks I had you put on your pattern? Okay, well, you're going to do that here on your fabric. So, place that four and a half inch line on this edge and place a pin at the two and a half inch line. Okay? And do the same thing over here. Place a pin. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get your straps ready. Now, you want to cut two uh, long pieces of straps that are 48 inches long by three, uh, two, excuse me, two and a quarter inches wide. 48 inches long by two and a quarter inches wide. And you're going to cut out interfacing for this strap three fourths of an inch wide. Now, if you don't have one continuous long piece of interfacing, that's fine. I, on this, I just used up whatever scraps I had and put little strips in there and just sort of chained them together, okay? All right, so after you've got your interfacing in there, you make sure you stitch your two ends together and do a quarter of an inch seam Press this seam open. Okay, now, on one edge, you're going to fold it over a quarter of an inch. Press the full length of the two strips. Then, take the other edge and fold it over three-fourths of an inch, the full length of the two strips. Then, take it, 
the quarter inch side and fold it over to where it comes in the middle, okay? Press it the full length of the strip. Then stitch right close to the edge all the way down the full length, excuse me, before you stitch, one more important step, you're gonna bring your last two ends together. So you're gonna have one great big circle, one big loop. So open up those two ends, bring them together, pin and stitch a quarter of an inch. Then do a final little pressing on that seam, bringing everything back together. So you have one continuous loop. Then stitch down the center here. The full loop all the way around. Okay, now your straps are ready to be put on the bag. So let me show you how to do that. Alright, here's my pins where my marks were, okay, to indicate where I'm going to start the strap stitching. But before you start, take the two seams of your strap, okay, there's one here and there's one there. Put them on the bottom seam of the bag, alright, and uh, pull it out towards your two pins. Now, if you'll notice, I hope you can see it, I've got a little square here that I stitched. That helps to stabilize the strap by doing that. So w this is where you're going to start stitching. You're going to start stitching at this end here, near the seam. Stitch down this edge of the strap. When you get to your pin mark, stop, leave your needle down, press your foot up, turn your bag and stitch towards the other side. Needle down, press your foot up, turn again and go back down about an inch. Then stitch over this way. Then repeat, go back up, over and down and continue going all the way back down to the seam. Now don't stop there. Then stitch all the way up to your next pin mark. Do your little square like you just did at the first one. Then stitch back down to where you started. Now you've got one side of the strap on. Then do the same thing with the other strap. Start here, stitch, stitch down to your pin mark, do your square, come back down, continue down to the next one, do your little square, then come back down to where you started. Now your straps are on. When you're done with that, you want to take your straps and stuff them inside of the center pocket because you want to get those straps out of your way. You don't want to get them caught in the seams stitching that's coming up. All right, then after you've done that, Fold the bag in half. Okay, let me turn this. Now you're going to bring your side seams together. So, pin and stitch these together, 3 eighths of an inch seam. Okay? 3 eighths of an inch seam. Then go over here and stitch 3 eighths of an inch seam. Now, don't stitch in here just yet. I'll show you in a moment how to do that, okay? All right, so now let's move on to the lining. Now, your lining, you're gonna bring the right sides together of your lining, and then you're gonna stitch the bottom edge there, but not all the way across. You're gonna stitch about an inch and a half length on this end, 3 eighths of an inch seam, and then go over to the other edge and do the same thing, about an inch and a half, three-eighths of an inch seam. And then stitch the two side seams, three-eighths of an inch. Now I'm gonna show you how to close these corners up. And you're gonna do this technique on the lining as well as the tote bag itself. All right, so open this up and pull it like this. 
okay whoops pull it open like this and bring your two seams together now keep those seams open and pin them put some pins all the way across and then stitch again 3 8 of an inch let me show you what it looks like on the other side okay there it is and see the seams are open and then stitch across there so remember do this on the lining corners as well as the tote bag corners now your bag is your lining should look like this it's a little tote bag all on its own right now now you're going to insert your tote bag inside of the lining to where the right sides of the tote bag and the lining come together all right so and it should look like this okay now you're going to pin your upper edges together pin and stitch it all the way around 3 8 of an inch then after you've done that you're going to reach inside of this hole and you're going to scrunch the bag up okay and pull it so you've got the bottom of that bag scrunched up real tight and take care that you don't pull your lining or tear your lining okay so keep pushing it through it'll take me a little bit to get this open as I only have one functioning hand the other hand just sort of kind of hangs around getting in the way okay and keep pushing it through like I said take your time to where you don't tear your lining almost there as you can see you do need to take your time pulling it through there we go okay now it should look like this you got your lining all out okay now you're going to close up the bottom of the bag so bring make sure your edges are folded in bring those edges together pin your edges all the way across and then stitch real close in here stitching up that hole in the bottom of the bag almost done then take your bag open it up and stuff the lining on the inside okay now you're going to pin your edges flat so place place pins all up around the upper edge okay and then you're going to stitch real close to the edge all the way around the top okay and then you're done with your bag now in my previous videos I showed you how to make a matching tissue holder cosmetic bag and then here's the matching tote bag so this makes a nice gift set okay all right uh, in my uh, to keep informed on all my future videos click on one of my subscribe buttons there's one down there in the lower right hand corner it's red it says subscribe and then in the upper left hand corner towards the end of the video there's a round picture of me that is also a subscribe button click on either one of those YouTube will prompt you for your email address enter that information and the next time I have a new video YouTube sends you an email with a big button in the center you click on it and it takes you directly to my latest video. I'm Cheryl. I'm really glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time and happy sewing.